Count Chocula. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all. He continues to devolve into the errand runner who doesn't say a whole lot of much, but he does eat things along the way. So I uh, went grocery shopping at 7 a.m. this morning at Walmart. What an adventure. Uh, got done hauling that shit in and then put away and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> And uh, now we go get a few more things. But right after that, uh, somebody was reading. I, somebody was, I was reading <laughs> in the comments. Somebody said, like, I miss or I, I fuck with your subway videos. I miss your subway videos. I look in the timeline. We haven't had subway in a long time. I also miss subway because I could always eat. Well, not always eat subway, but most usually like it's pretty up there for me. So anyways, Subway is required. That's my toxic trait, by the way. Go grocery shopping, spend a bunch of money, get everything, and then still go get something to eat instead of eating the groceries. But here's the thing, and you'll get what I'm saying. By the time you do the shopping and then the putting away and everything, you're like, I don't want to create a dish today. Okay. I don't want to do take things out, prep things and fucking this and all that shit. Right. And then like do dishes and stuff. So you're like, I'm just going to have a quick, easy eat today. And then we'll get to the groceries tomorrow and for the month. You know what I mean? Because my gro groceries last like a month. Usually I just get one fat haul. The I do sometimes have to get like, go get quick runs of new produce. But for the most part, like freezer meats and shelf stuff, dry goods, meats i don't know they last a long time that's all i'm saying anyways and if you're curious just before subway really what i'm going to get is uh i need hydrogen peroxide i need tea candles for my nightly shamanic or i don't know whatever you want to call it sure shamanic candle rituals and i also need clorox bleach lysol and something else oh peach or not peach but pear Pear, what's my it's it's a hand soap a hand soap that i have and i need new hand soap new pump action hand soap it's all about pump action i hate I mean, uh, if you're gonna have bathroom hand soap make it pump action okay that's the deal so pump action hand soap it's a pear flavored one but it's a, it's a combination hybrid i forget what it is but it smells so delicious on my hands and uh, it's very warming and inviting and welcoming to the olfactory system. The nose is what they call that. Well, that's the mouth and the nose. So tip for you in biology. Uh, but yeah, dollar store has all those little, you know, those toiletries and cleaning solutions and all the solutions to your fucking problems. They're at the dollar store at Dollarama. So we're going. And then we're eating Subway. Okay. Toiletries! <laughs> you used to have a joke with uh, with a girl that I knew. We, <laughs> uh, we were going to sell something called toiletries, but like for toiletries. But you know the toilet brush, the scrub brush for the toilet, like that cleans the shit st streaks off in the bowl? Uh, <laughs> it was going to be like a holder for that but like an evergreen tree so it's like you it holds it so it's your toiletries but it's a toilet tree and you <laughs> keep the fucking scrubber in it and scrub the shit stains off the bowl also it took me up to like a year ago to finally realize that like oh like when you take a a rough one that has like a greasy sense to it and it won't go down like it won't fold, like the flush doesn't take the brown down fully. I was like, in my head, I'm like, oh, like later on down the line, when you do a thorough toilet clean, that's when you get the brush out and shit. And then I realized, oh wait, like you just get it while it's hot and you bring the brush out then, and then you clean the brush and maybe a little bleach into the thing. And you just maintain the shit stain list bowl instead of letting it build until you have like a clean a few days down the road or whatever right when you do like a full spectrum toilet clean just a tip i didn't realize it for a long time i just got the uh toiletries and everything else they didn't have my exact hand soap but something very close is just the design 
is more uh, feminine, if you will, on this one. Many flowers and such, but uh, is what it is. Still look nice in the bathroom. Uh, is this a day in the life of the Aaron boy or what? Like, we're really covering more details today. Anyways, it's uh, now about 10 o'clock. The subway opens at 10 o'clock. It's Saturday. You will be seeing this today, the day that it is that I upload. It's starting to rain very heavily now in this area of town. And uh, like I said, toiletries, grocery shopping. Now we go to the fresh open subway and hopefully get all the brand new, just put out fresh veggie toppings, or we get yesterday's bologna, which could be that too, who knows, we'll find out. What I'm truly saying is, um, it's getting hectic around here, but really what I'm actually saying is this, is that uh, I hate, I'll, I'll always be in the, in, the, in the dollar store, and the cashiers like run out for a smoke break, right? And then I come and I'm like right about to want to pay. And I don't want to be like, I don't care really. I'm like, I'm not on a rush. So I just keep dickering around for a bit because I don't want to interrupt their smoke break. But then also at a certain point, I just came around to like put stuff down and I would totally even wait like the next, like for them to drag out, you know what I mean? Cause whatever, I, like I'm not in a rush. But then they run in and then I'm just like, sorry to interrupt you, like your Siggy break. But that being said, there's nobody on till. So I don't know it, what I, I don't know what I'm saying. What I, what I do know is this, I was like, I would want them, I'd just be like, you could just finish your dart and then like, it'll be what, 45 seconds to a minute. And then we can do this interaction. Okay. Sub secure, we'll talk about it in a moment. But since we're doing a day in the life, also the dude in there was very chill. He was cool. Dollarama, that's the bag we have here. I don't know what you guys got where you're at, but uh, I'll just show you uh, <laughs> this hand soap though, it's my, it's my jam. This pear, but these bottles, I love these bottles. The other one that I usually get has a more uh, unisex design on it. It's kind of more, how do I even say? It's like patterns, like ancient uh, ge geometric patterns. It's more like, as techie in or some shit like that but this one's more floral peach or floral pear tree so orchard vine fits the name anyhow uh also my favorite spray this stuff right here <laughs> this is how you know like you're an older person who likes to just keep things clean is this clorox bleach spray works wonders of course we got our shamanic tea candles <laughs> and this stuff too the lysol all purpose is a fave buddy boy got a water because he's off the sodas and like i was saying when they were having their dart i was trying to stall time and these were 80 cents a piece so i got like my favorite bars ever so crispy crunch we got a mr big we got butterfinger which is usually never in canada so that intrigued me wonder bar score and kit kat chunky okay so put this shit away <laughs> So this is where shit gets risky, right? When you're unrolling the sub, I'm sure all of you have been through this. Where's the sauce gonna pour out? Is it gonna land on the bottom perfectly flat? Am I gonna end up on the wrong side of history? Oh, <laughs> sweet onion. He, I, I asked for double tomatoes and tons of lettuce. He hooked her up into the light look at this buddy just hooked her eh? okay i assessed it it's too risky we're doing per bite chip additives per bite and guess what he brought his own bottle of southwest ranch <laughs> that he made at home all right y'all so here we are on the zoom cam with a pizza sub made by a beautiful young man inside. Okay, so pizza sub, it's the pepperoni with uh, no marinara, the cheese, I got the yellow cheese, the cheddar cheese, toasted of course, lettuce, extra tomato, cucumber, pickle, onion, green pepper, and the banana peppers, sweet onion, Chipotle, Southwest, and ranch. And if it needs more sauce, 
I got my own bottle. So let's go. The veggies are brand new fresh too as well. Mm. On herb and cheese too. Dude inside said that's his favorite as well because white is too boring. I agree. It's loaded. Hard to even get a chip in like this. Just on the side. Okay. I need to trim these edges. Typewriter style. But yeah, I'll say it once, I've said it again. I've said it once, I'll say it again. Is uh Alright, just loaded it up with my own sauce too. But as some of y'all know, that's kind of my little subway hack is just get a pizza sub. So you get the meat, it tastes kind of like a BMT, but not really, but still it's just, it's like way cheaper. It's like five bucks cheaper. Mm. This thing is amazing today. Gonna need a wardrobe change. <laughs> it's getting messy. Let's see if we can load a saucy bite with some strategically placed chipperos. Maybe like that. All oh, pop. So, so, so good though. I'm gonna need a timeout in the middle of this. I'm cleaning up what happened down here. Next level. I'm out. <laughs> This is a seriously challenging thing to eat. I'm telling you what, so messy. But yeah, went for an early AM grocery shop, which is sort of ideal. It feels very dystopian. But uh, it's more peaceful, definitely more calm. However, you are dodging around. People 
still putting away pallets. So it's a little froggerish in there. And I would 100% guess that uh, the people on that shift don't appreciate early shoppers. While they're trying to finish the stocking. which I understand. What else screams dystopia is that, at least where I'm at, my Walmart has pretty much gone almost completely self-checkout. We still have some tills open, but not a lot. So you don't really have even the option too often to go through the till. And then they, they, they discontinue plastic bags completely. And they just have these paper bags that are so like nonsensical and fragile and weak. But they're basically trying to force you into bringing your own reusables. Which is good for the planet. Like I get the whole thing. It's just a transitionary period that like, I feel like not a lot of people bring their own bags. Like it's just gonna be something that you really have to pay attention and adhere to. I wasn't ready for it and uh i just did a, i did a big grocery load and i was coming in the house and i had one stacked with like a bunch of canned stuff and like salad dressing and whatnot and i went to go drop it like just by the front door to carry in saucy bite it just shattered everywhere like home home just ripped and all my cans and shit that was in there just went rolling all over fun way to start the day real fun I need like a shower after this like my hands are so sticky all right, the final bites of glory. A little extra sauce on there. See, that meat's decent. still get the meaty sensation and the veggies for less like five bucks less it's what's up what a hefty <laughs> he, he doubled that thing up it felt like that was like a difficult navigational system but yeah early a.m. grocery kind of where it's at also kind of not where it's at. Cashier checkout uh, bag dystopia. Don't love it. We 
we're moving into the technocracy, the AI, the robos, and the replacing of workers, and uh, people not having jobs, because we're expected to do now all this work ourselves, and other people don't have to do it. But it's like, where, where are they gonna work now, you know? So you're just displacing workers and jobs. And then the next thing you know, we're living in the Hunger Games. So, just you wait. Elon Musk's got your best interests at heart, though. <laughs> we're doomed. Okay. <laughs> For the next one. I'm going to go wash my hands with pear soap. I don't really know what you're going to do, but I hope you have a good Saturday, Sunday, weekend and rest of your life. So eat good, live well, stay true.